Hello everyone, my name is Okan Seker, and today I will talk about our joint work with Thomas Eisenbart and Marcel Liskevich, a white box ma masking scheme resistant computation and algebraic attacks. So before going in, into details, I would like to give a small history of Palantri, the seeing stones by J.R.R. Tolkien. So these magical stones are created uh, for many purposes, but the simplest intention is the communication in Middle Earth. So however, these stones are dangerous as they are possessed by Sauron the Dark Lord. So one of the most important victims is Saruman the White. He was uh, corrupted while using or trying to use a device by the whispers of the real owner of Palantir, the Dark Lord. So now Sauron owns the device and can read uh, the user's minds and can see memories, even if the deepest secrets are not secure anymore. So what we can see from, from here is Sauron, as the adversary in, in this scenario, owns, owns the device can inspect your memories and can manipulate your minds with his whispers. So now let us consider uh, this example in our setting. As adversary, we have the same pur purpose as Sauron, revealing the si secret, uh, revealing the sensitive information. When we compare the capabilities of, uh, of, of both two cases, uh, we see a similar structure. So while Sauron can inject thoughts by whispering and see your mind, our adversary can inject faults and can whisper, uh, can inspect uh, memory. Okay, what can we do then? Uh, the only thing that we can do actually uh, are our stack strengthening the, our implementation. And now we would like to quote this beautiful line from earlier works. When the attacker has internal information about a cryptographic implementation, the choice of implementation is the sole remaining line of defense. And this is, this is why we need white box cryptography. So this model is, is used to protect uh, uh, secrets purely in software where we can actually think about the environment as hostile. And one of the uh, examples is, is one, one of the, uh, the rising services today, the streaming services. This can be music, uh, gaming or, 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 or video. So also mo mobile payment systems can be seen as an example. However, today all the, um, all the academic proposal has been practically broken. So in this work, we tackled this problem and proposed the first combined masking scheme that can resist state-of-art white box attacks, computation, and algebraic attacks, which we give the details in the following slides. So we analyze two security notions in cryptography, which, which we show that they're actually incomparable. The first one is probing security against computation attacks and prediction security against algebraic attacks. We give concrete constructions for arbitrary or orders of computational security and uh, first and or, uh, second order prediction security. Moreover, we prove this security of this, these constructions. Um, to, uh, to, um, to give this uh, proof, we need, a, 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 we need to provide a novel security definition and a novel compo composability proof for prediction security, and, and, um, uh, and we, which we extend actually from, from the previous work. Moreover, we supported our results with the, with, the, with the verification tool by Birikov et al., which is uh, for, for, for prediction security, and MaskVerif for probing security. And finally, we provide a proof of concept AES implementation to analyze the overhead and security features of our design. So let's deep dive into the into, into state of our attacks on white box systems. Um, the first attack is based, is based on a well-known physical attacks on embedded devices. As you know, the embedded devices that run a cryptographic algorithm are vulnerable to physical attacks. And an, adver an, an adversary can use uh, such an information such as power, timing, or, or use an active attack to implement a fault injection. In a very basic scenario, the secret value can be revealed using a differential power analysis. And this idea is later applied to white box system in 2016. So the idea actually the same. Um, the such channel analysis, uh, the, the idea is actually the same as, as the such analysis. And the only difference is actually the source of traces. Um, in this version, an adversary can simulate the power traces by software execution traces. So these can be mem memory accesses, intermediate values, or written or read values. So these attacks can be found in GitHub page such and marvelous, and you can reproduce or attack the, these attacks on, on nearly all white box system in the literature. And this actually shows us how, how impactful these attacks are. And of course, as a, as a, as a net natural approach, we actually trying to find the contract or how to, how to contract these attacks. 
and what we can do is to take a look at the uh, take take a look at the um, the back at the good, good good old masking. So let's recap the boolean masking here. So here you can see we have x0 until x1 uh, are randomly selected, and the final share is actually uh, re represented as in this as in this equation you can see in here. And 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 finally we denote this secret sharing by uh, with with n n n plus one variables. And the main idea is is actually simple. As you know, the the, uh, the the every n tuple is indeed independent of the secret. So this is the main idea of the the such an, uh, the the countermeasures of uh, against such analysis. However, we cannot just rely on masking because the strength of the masking is actually related with the noise within the implementation, and a differential and and a DC adversary can produce noise-free traces. And of course, that's why we need to we need to do we need uh, some more additional um, noise acceleration uh, sources such as sh uh, shuffling or control flow obfuscation. These methods are introduced to um, to increase the noise in uh, in, a, in a masked white box implementation. So now let us take a look to the algebraic attacks, uh, which is another hit for the masking on white box systems. Um, so this is introduced by two different teams against. Uh, famous uh, othering Poitras, the strongest design in white white box context in 2017. So the idea is is is, is to first first finding a window that contains uh, the secret sharing corresponding to a value that can be predicted. Then the question is to finding the finding a linear combination of of the nodes that gives you this predictable value. And this linear combination is actually reveals the sensitive value. Of course. If we increase the order of these combinations, for example, if we look for qua quadratic combinations of, of, of your nodes, uh, this will result in a higher order algebraic attacks. Okay, while we are thinking about how can we implement masking on white box systems, the algebraic attacks actually break our, our every hope. As you can see from the previous slide, um, we don't need to consider the masking order. The attack works on every, every order as long as the masking is linear. Therefore, the Boolean masking, no matter what the order is, is indeed vulnerable to first order algebraic attacks. So, uh, we have seen two main attacks, and now let's take a look how can we define secu ag security against these attacks, which, which actually gives us the, the foundations of our design. So, uh, let's start with the probing security, the easy one. Uh, this is a well-known model introduced by Isha et al. The very briefly, it implies that the adversary obtains t intermediate variables per execution, where t, t is, it is a fixed integer, and our goal is to prove that every set of t intermediate variables is independent of the secret. Um, and the second notion is, is against algebraic attacks. It's a quite new notion. And in this case, adversary can obtain all intermediate variables, but can only use a deed order combination to combine them. So if you think about if you think about our previous example in the in the against the uh, other uh, other pointers, what we actually do looking into the linear combination. So that means our order is uh, order is, is, is first order combination, which is which is linear combination, and therefore that's that's why that that that's why the boolean masking is actually vulnerable to first order algebraic attacks. And here against uh, for our security notion, our goal is to show that. Uh, the probability of distinguishing two sets of plain text by looking at deed, or go deed order combinations uh, of the circuit nodes should be negligible. Um, um, so this is an important notion, important notion for us. First of all, um, it is as seen in the previous slides. It, it's it's quite new, like two, two years old, and it provides security against a very powerful threat on white box design. And maybe this this might be a keystone for the next generation generation of masking. Therefore, we would like to have a closer look at uh, this model. So, as we described earlier, uh, th this model analyzes the behavior of a function fc. Uh, that means um, all the deed order combinations of the circuit nodes uh, of the circuit nodes um, from this highlighted area. And this area is actually gives us uh, us us a target. And if f d to the c it means that we looking to do every deed order combinations of the, of of the nodes as you can see in this slide. So if if, if d equals one, that means we only looking into the linear combinations or of these nodes. If d equals two, we looking into quadratic combinations. We can just uh, multiply two nodes and add some some some, some, some uh, add the rest of the shares. So 
That's the main idea. Um, now let's consider two inputs, x and x prime. Um, and the main idea is, is to finding a function from f, f, f d to the c uh, such that this function is constant or high bias uh, when the input uh, input for the input x and vice versa for the for the for the x prime. So let, 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 let us let us recap it, recap it again. We would like to find a function such that um, in a very basic scenario for an input x this function should be constant. So um, so this is this is our this is our encoding function and this is our circuit function, and uh, we, when we think about this this circuit node as a combination of, of of our encoding, which is a which you can think about the secret sharing function, um, this should be um, a constant function. Um, so if 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 an adversary cannot find such a function, that means that the prediction security. I mean, the, the main idea is, is that so the the prediction security requires every function from your set should have low bias. Although uh, one one of the notions indeed covers the other, they are actually in incomparable. Uh, let's take a look at this this the first example. We have the Boolean masking example here. Um, as we discussed in the previous slides, we know that an nth order Boolean function uh, is actually um, Vulnerable to vulnerable to algebraic attacks, and we know that it's actually secure against probing attacks if it's applied correctly. Now let's take a look at the look at look at the um, um, minimalistic uh, quadratic masking by by Birkhoff et al. So here you can see the decoding uh, function of the scheme is as in the slide uh, here, and 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 it is proven and and and. Um, and, and, and it is as proven as it's secure against first order algebraic attacks. However, when we think about the sharing, we can see that the sharing of uh, x0 is uh, 3 out of 4, uh, which implies that the probability of, of finding, uh, pr pr probability of the, of the final share is equal to the x, or which, which is secret, is 3 out of 4. So that is, that's a, uh, so thus it is actually not secure against probing attacks. So, as a result, what we can see is uh, there is no comparability between probing security and prediction security, and we need both uh, notions in our proof. And and this is the main reason why two countermeasures were proposed on top of each other to prevent both attacks in the earlier works. So, what we learned from the from these two attacks is is the following. First of all, we need a regular secret sharing to eliminate computation attacks, and secondly, we need to increase the decoding order at the same time to, to, to gain resistance against algebraic attacks. So now let's, uh, let's remark the Boolean masking as, as, in, as in this le left hand side. Um, now the question is how can we increase the decoding order? So the idea is simple. Um, we, would, we need to share a single share. So let's say x0 in this example. Um, we would like to represent x0 with a multi mul mul multiplicative masking such that x0 is, is a product of, of d plus 1 random variables and the rest of the shares uh, are actually stays the same. And, um, and, and, and we denote this masking by an nd masking scheme. Um, so let's, so before going into, the, into, the, into an example, we would like to take a look at the encoding and decod decod decoding function here. So here, uh, instead of having um, even if we have an n plus one random variable, now we have d plus one random variable for 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 multi multiplicative representation and n n minus one variable for just selected randomly. And the last uh, player's share is actually calculated by uh, product of of your uh, product of your mul multiplicative represented share and the rest of the boolean uh, rest of the linear shares. And now the interesting thing is here our our decoding function is you can see. The are uh, what uh, what what we did is actually trying to increasing the uh, decoding order. Here you can see uh, we did the degree of of our decoding function is is d plus one. And now let's let's take a look to an example where n equals three and d equals one. And here you can see the boolean masking on the, on the left hand side. And you can see that we increase the decoding order by representing x zero with x one uh, x zero tilde uh, plus x one tilde. Um, so this is this is this, this was the, our our um, our um, data transformation. Now, as a regular masking scheme, the data transformation is is followed by by gate transformation. So 
uh, we we provide the secure XOR and and refresh mask gadget, and the foundation of, of these gadgets are actually the same as as, as a boolean masking. So, however, uh, now we have to be careful uh, uh, of the intermediate variables that actually represent X0, because uh, yeah. And let's let's take let's take a take a look at the basic uh, example of secure XOR operation. Here you can see every uh, every 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 share besides ZM is is share wise. And in order to secure the correctness of the gadget, we need a variable U. And here you can see the co uh, the concrete constructions for first and second order XOR gadget. And using a similar ideas, we can transform end and refresh mask operation for our purposes. And for the details of this gadget, we would like to refer to the paper. And uh, so, what about the what the cost of, of, of this transformation and um, what is the over overhead? So here we can see three ma th th three main parameters that that we would like to take a look. Um, these are number of XOR and and required randomness. So as you can see from the XOR example, ex uh, XOR example, we have a special subscript uh, UI and UX represent rep representing the number of uh, uh, and and XOR operations within this special variable that we uh, uh, that we uh, defined in the previous slide, and um, and observe that for d equals zero, the gadgets are actually become uh, become the regular uh, secure mask operations. Um, for the XOR gadget, of course, there are we actually increasing the total number of shares, which gives us a linear increase, and the cost of the operations of u, and and as you can see from the highlighted. Uh, values and for 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 you for UX and UI, this can be one and two as as in this example as you can see here. Um, these are actually small values for for XOR operation. Um, for the end gadget, uh, again the complexity is n square, but now the main overhead comes from this uh, speci uh, the this, uh, from the, from this uh, the form of uh, sp specific variable v. And for refresh mask, we actually see a similar pattern. Uh, of course, now we we need a more randomness for for in order to define this operation, and we interpret these results more at the end of our presentation when we take a look at the AS implementation. Okay, until now uh, we we reconstruct our scheme. Now we would like to focus on how to prove the security of our design. Let's take a quick look at the how the proof techniques are working in our settings. Uh, starting from the from the probing security. So as a caveat of our scheme, uh, only a subset of shares is actually uniformly distributed. As you can see, X0 is, is actually biased. Uh, thus, an adversary can predict um, X0 with high probability. So therefore, we are actually losing um, one probing security order in order to gain algebraic security. So in our proofs, uh, we see these nonlinear shares as public values accessible by the adversary. And therefore, the simulation uh, for our simulation-based proof can also access these values. Um, and and we, we show that an and this and this scheme provides security against n minus one order attacks. And moreover, we supported our results with with them with them uh, with, with the verification by MaskRef. And these verification calls can can be found publicly available. Now let's take a look at the uh, the, the prediction security proof. And the main idea is, is simple. Um, as we described in, in, in the prediction security, security definition, um, we need to show that every linear combinations of our circuit should have low bias when the input is fixed. That is, the nodes are a function of your nodes or your combinations of your nodes should be a function of, of PRNG or, or, or your random source. So it, is, so it is already shown that due to the linearity, composition is, is actually easy to prove. And, and therefore, the the, an adversary cannot distinguish any sets of inputs. And and for, for our first order gadget, we, we use a tool provided by Birikov et al. to verify the security of our design. And the interesting thing is, is see, you can see the bias bound of gadget. As you can see, uh, these are actually independent of your linear masking order N. And now let's take a look at the second order security. The idea is quite intuitive, intuitively extended. Now the combination that combinations that we need to take care uh, are are become quadratic, and moreover the first order bounds should be much lower than the uh, previous bounds. And again, the idea is uh, what 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 we said before: uh, the adversary cannot distinguish any sets of inputs. Okay, um, 
However, the, the co one, one, one thing that we need to take, uh, take care of, of course, the combinations, uh, composition. However, the quadratic composition cannot be extended in a trivial way, as we need to consider combinations from, from two different circuits. Um, the, so if we think about the second order combinations from two different circuits, that's by linearity, as in, the, as in the previous result, this can be done easily. However, when we think about the combinations of uh, two first order combinations from two different circuits, when they uh, when they add them together or when when you, when you combine them together, now this that th that needs to be special um, attention. Um, so we proven our uh, our our our, our proven in, in twofold. First one is is parallel composability, and and where the gadgets are operated in parallel. And the second and the second is is sequ sequential as is in this as in the figure. So therefore we have proven the composition in in parallel order and gadgets the circuits that operate in parallel and sequences uh, and, 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 and circuits that um, operate in sequential order. So what we've proven at the end is the composition of an arbitrary circuit. So uh, what can we interpret? How can we interpret these results? So this is the this is our this will be the, our main result here. So uh, the probability of an adversary to distinguish two sets of plain text is less than to the minus 128 if the window contains at least uh, 1.5 thousand uh, random nodes. Um, so these random nodes can be uh, supplied to the circuit um, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a in a in a in a in a very basic manner. Is, is, it, is you can think about it as the ra random uh, uh, dummy nodes. These nodes don't need to be act in in your circuit, but there has to be some random nodes so that the adversary will not be able to have a window that contains the secret shares and uh, less than 1.5 thousand random nodes. Um, and, and that's why we need an additional obfuscation layer on top of uh, every white box design. Um, in the final part of our presentation, we would like to take a look at the proof of proof, proof of concept AS with a, with a performance comparison. So here you can see that this light blue line corresponds to the previous approach where two different masking schemes are needed to combine uh, to get the desired security level. And now the bottom blue line uh, corresponds to the regular masking scheme without a, without a nonlinear component. Now, uh, we can combine from our intuition from the overhead and see that um, our, due to the structure of our scheme, it is efficiently increases security order in the dimension of n. Here you can see. Uh, however, uh, still, the, uh, the nonlinear order is actually bottleneck of our scheme. Uh, for the randomness cost, you can see that again we have this uh, we have the light blue line corresponding to the previous approach where two masks are two masks are needed and the bottom blue line corresponds to the um, the where there is no nonlinear component. Um, for the randomness cost we see a similar structure also and better results with respect to uh, two different using two different maskings uh, masking at the same time. Now in conclusion, uh, we have proposed the first masking scheme that combines, uh, linear and nonlinear component to achieve resistance against both computation and algebraic attacks and prove the security in both, uh, both probing and prediction security notions that are incomparable. We, we provide a first uh, and second order prediction security for concrete constructions of N1 and N2 masking schemes. We have provide a, a proof of concept uh, bitwise uh, AS128 implementation with the leakage and performance analysis. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please feel free to feel free to contact us. Or if you're interested, you can you can find more details on our ePrint. And if you would like to take a look to the verification code or analysis code, please feel free to go to visit visit our GitHub page. And here you can download our mask verif code and analysis, and also the AS128 implementation. Thank you.